Hey everyone, Video Game Love here. Today, I'm here to talk about the Sega Genesis Mini and my thoughts. All that and more, next. So, I'm going to talk about the Sega Genesis Mini. Uh, I got this for Christmas. Um, it was a Christmas gift for my that my older brother gave me. Um, and I played a couple of uh, about an hour or two on this system, so I'm here to give you uh, my thoughts. So, the Sega Genesis Mini came out September of 2018, and it has 40 games, as you can see. The 40 games are Alex Kid, Elise Dragoon, Altered Beast, Beyond Oasis, Castlevania Bloodlines, Columns, Comic Zone, Contra Hardcore, Dama Heady, Urban Gem, Joel Champion. Ghosts and Goblins, Golden Axe, Gunstar Heroes, Kid Chameleon, Lamb Stalker, Light Crusader, Mega Man Wally Wars, which was only released in Europe, uh, Monster World 4, Fantasy Star 4, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, Road Rash 2, Shiny Force 1, Shinobi 3, Sonic Spinball, Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Space Harrier 2, Street Fighter 2, Street to Rage 2, Strider, Super something, I can't really see it, Thunder Force 3, Toe Jam and Earl, Vector Man 1, Virtual Fighter 2, Wonder Boy, and the World of Illusion. Oh, and Echo the da oh, Echo the Dolphin and Castle of Illusion, and plus Darius and Tetris, which uh, those two games were never released. So that's really, really nice. So there are some really good games on this uh, mini. So now let's get to the actual system itself. Here it is. Look how tiny this thing is so cute and it's so tiny. It, it's basically based on the Model 1 Sega Genesis. You have your power switch, your reset button which boots up the system or pulls the menu, and you got like a like a little uh, volume control. In the back is your HDMI and the adapter. So yeah, and, and your control ports are USB ports. So that's pretty nice. Now I already did a comparison of the size when I unboxed this thing. But I want to show you just how tiny this thing is. Here is the Model 3 Sega Genesis. And here's the Mini. It's smaller than the Model 3 Sega Genesis. That's insane. So, this thing is really, really freaking tiny. But despite that, it's built really well. And it even has... It even has the expansion slot to put, like, the... Mini Sega CD and the 32S, they released that in Japan. So there's the Mini system, built really well. Now onto the controllers. This is unfortunately one of the weak points of the system. For some reason in the US, they decided to release the 3 button controller as the, you know, packing controllers for the Sega Genesis Mini. That's not really of a good idea because some games such as Street Fighter 2, Comic Zone that I think Eternal Champion need the six button controller so you can really play these games very well. A three button is not really going to do the job very well since you need additional buttons. So unfortunately you're going to have to buy, you know, a retro bit six button controller so that way you can uh, get the six buttons to work. But regardless, the three button controller feels really well. The D-pad is, a, I wouldn't say mushy. But it feels good, but it's not as good as the actual Model 1, as what I have right here, Sega Genesis Controller. Controller. You can still kind of feel it's a little cheap, but not, not that it's going to ruin the system. It feels very comfortable, and the buttons work well. As far as a lot of you were concerned about the sound delay, there is a tiny bit of sound delay. It's like... A half second and I, I haven't en encountered that much input lag into the Sega Genesis Mini um, but um, I did have a little bit stumbles with the controls it's not gonna be perfect because it's HDMI if this was a CRT it will work 100% but it works fine for the most part just keep that in mind now, I want to get to one of the coolest things about this system. So yes, you have 42 games, but what makes this system very interesting is it actually contains every release of, of a certain game. 
It includes the US release, the European release, and the Japanese release. That's pretty awesome because I know a lot of people struggle on being Contra Hardcore. So you can actually play the Japanese version and it, actually, and it gives you a, a health meter. So that way it makes the game a tad a little bit more easier than the US version. So that's really, really nice. A lot of people are also wondering if you can hack this thing to get more games. They're kind of working on that. It's most likely going to happen. As far as the games are going, there's a lot of great games. You know, Contra Hardcore, Castlevania Blinds. That's honestly the reason a lot of people bought this. Gunstar Heroes, Golden Axe, Sonic 2, Vector Man 1, Street to Rage 2, Fantasy Star 4, Comic Zone, Elysia Dragon. There are a lot of great games on here. But I feel like there are a few that should have not been here, like Space Herder 2. That's not a very good game, honestly. Um, Columns. I know that's, you know, a... a, a you know, one of the first Genesis games that it's a little iffy. I wish they would have added Rock and I Adventures. That's a really good game. I feel it's a little bit disappointing that Vector Man 2 is on not on there, because Vector Man 2 is really good alongside with Shining Force 2. But there's still a lot of good games. Beyond the Waste is another good one. So there is a lot of uh, good stuff. By the way, it also came with two controllers. The other controller is inside of the box. So yeah. So overall, my thoughts on the Sega Genesis Mini, I'm actually very surprised on. Now, of course, I still prefer having the original Model 1 Genesis, which I have hooked up underneath me. But this is still a nice convenience for anyone that wants to get a Sega Genesis, but don't want to fork over so much money to get the game. You just want 42 games, you want it out in the box, plug it in and play them. And that's exactly what you're going to get with the Sega Genesis Mini. So overall, I really enjoyed the Sega Genesis Mini a lot. It's a really nice little system, and I would highly recommend one if you find it in a good price. So that's the end for this video, people. Oh, I, no, I didn't scratch it. Okay, let me stop doing that. All right. But anyways, guys, I'll see you guys later. Peace.